Hey Francis, how's the adjustment to college going? You know, you've got bigs on bigs now. It's a little bit different than what you've been used to as a coming. Um, the transition's not that bad as I was at IMG, so it's not really a big difference. I mean, you know, start practice in the morning. So IMG has prepared me for all of that. Has there been anything that's like surprised you about that being in college? Um, the competition. Competition level has changed a lot. Um, yeah, uh, you know, a lot of these guys are very much experienced with a uh, college coach. So they, they tend to go hard on everything. So I will say competition level has been raised up. How what? great has it been uh, being with your brother here? Oh, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's an amazing, you know, thing to be able to play with your brother. Um, you know, him being on the defense, me being on the offense, so, you know, you tend to get some, <laughs> get some family transaction there. So <laughs> we, 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 we tend to talk to each other a lot um, in our foreign language. So, you know, just start to pump, uh, trying to get him pumped up and, you know, get ready to you get my taste of football. I think, Coach, I think Coach Chris Ball, last time we were spoken about you guys, didn't mention, or said that you guys hadn't uh, collided yet. Has that yeah, happened yet? Uh, not really like collide, collide, <laughs> but you know, we, we, we tend to get washed down, you know, down the line. So, yeah, we haven't really collide, collide. <laughs> yeah, but we, we tend to get, you know, just get hands on it and we just ride it from there. What's the kind of stuff you say to each other in Samoan? Um, you know, we, we, we tend to tell each other, hey man, you gotta come on my side, you know? You gotta, you know, you, you're getting, you're getting, you're not getting the play right. You know, uh, tell him, oh, what play are you guys running? Those type of stuff, you know, try to, try to make practice more enjoyable as for us. So, yeah. Have you guys done any flame shows for the team or anything yet? <laughs> <laughs> nah, we haven't did, uh, we haven't done the fire knife dance yet because we don't have the, the knives. Uh, but yeah, we're hoping to do that one day for for the team. That would be awesome. What's it been like for you? I mean, the, coming in, you know, the high school, five star prospect and all that stuff. What's it been like kind of coming in, getting to work, and like having to kind of put that to the side? I guess. Yeah. Um. All that five stuff, five star stuff. Um. I don't think it really doesn't matter on this this level right now. So all that five star, you know, that that ended up, you know, way back when I was in high school. So. No, coming in here, you no, know, zero star here, yeah, same as everyone. You know, um, so all that hype, it don't really mean anything if you don't put out the work. You kind of in the same vein though, you had a chance to, kind of, to work with the ones and you know, being in your first semester here, our specialists have had a chance to kind of be in the mix immediately. Can you that? Just you know, having a chance to be in the mix, you know, potentially start on the offensive line, you're, you know, you're not even, you're in your first semester here, just what's that been like for you? Um, yeah, it's it's an honor to you know to run with the ones now, but uh you know it's, it's still spring so job ain't secured yet. Um, still working to that level, uh, but uh it's it's a pleasure to be able to gain that trust from Coach Merbot, Coach Chris Paul, especially the offensive coordinator. Yeah, what do you what do you think you need to do to start for this team in the fall? Um, I I tend to do whatever they want me to do. You know, just whatever they whatever technique they want me to do. Or whatever position they want me to play in, I just tend to work at it. You know, trying to trying to earn my spot. So right now everyone's trying to earn their spot. So it's not really anything is secured yet. Mm -hmm. What's how much has your body changed? Can you say how you can eat? Yeah, they they really take care of us. So I'm <laughs> I'm I'm at I'm at six six uh, three twenty five still same weight. Um, down at seventeen body. Of fat percentage, so they they really they really tend to get me in shape, and a lot of guys too. And uh, Samson Open Lola, mm -hmm. uh, what's the relationship like with him, and yeah, how's he doing? Oh, Samson is like a it's like a brother, you know. Every, everyone's like a brother, but he he tends to come out as like my closest brother. So you know he you know after practice today we, it was raining and he wanted to take some time to, to get working with me so we, t we, we stayed out there and uh it was it was you know raining down but we tend to work on our techniques and get and trying to get better in what we what we uh, make mistakes on how what's are you like different? being coached by mario cristobal um, and being the head coach what's that oh uh, uh, like? see that's 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 like the the real bonus to being an o-line here at the uh, university of miami 
is to be able to coach by the head coach, and he tends to push up, uh, push us a lot. Uh, you know, he tends to spend more time on us, and he wants he wants us to you know compete. He wants us even when even when the old line's playing D line uh, for for looks and doing individuals. He tends to want us to like you know go at it, just compete. So that's why I like I like Coach Cristobal. Everything is you know just snap, just go. How are you and we'll Samson maybe? For Francis. How are you and Samson maybe different? I think it's easy sometimes for like linemen for us to just be like that guy's good. Like like just what makes you two different? The players? Um, like different from each other? Or yeah, you and Samson. Like maybe different strengths you guys have. Just oh, yeah. techniques anything like that. I'll. I don't really see anything different from us, but we tend we, we tend to work out a lot, and then we tend to come in here late, um, like after after class on on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you know, to work on some more stuff. But me and Samson, there's not really a big difference. We just tend to work work, you know, just working, trying to get to the top. We have the same goal in our mind is to become uh, freshman All American, you know all that stuff, make it out in three years. So I don't see a very big difference. What's your relationship like with the Jackson offense line? Has anyone in particular taken you under their face? Oh, um, yeah, all of them. Um, from Logan Sonopolu, you know, he's another Simon on the team. So we tend to, you know, get after it a lot. And then, um, you know, the whole, the whole, everyone just trying to uh, just take me under their wing. Uh, you know, with a coup, you know, my right guard from Jalen to, you know, Javion. But those are all my guys, so they, they, they tend to welcome me in. They're close in that group. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. One thing, one thing uh, that had the most impact on me was that relationship, you know, that bond that we have right now. It's, you know, it's early, but we, we have that bond, like, we, we can play the whole team. What have you seen Last from, uh, for Francis. from Jaden and Ruben going against him in practice and stuff? They're, they have improved a lot. Um, pops, uh, you know, pops out to them too, but they, they work their ass up. They, uh, they, they tend to, you know, hit some move on me, but I tend to, you know, get, get back after it. Uh, so they, 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 uh, they've, they've improved a lot. Awesome. Thanks, Francis. Thanks, Francis. Uh, one other quick thing. Uh, I know a lot of guys call you CC. <laughs> SI, SI, or SI, SI. Okay. Okay. Oh. Two capital S's or? Not just one capital S. Okay, S I S I. Gotcha. No, we're going to squeeze it. That's that's yeah, that's my Samoan name. Uh, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Oh, so Cece. Yeah. Does so he, Francis. Is that and, short for anything, Cece? Yeah, yeah, Francis in Samoan is Falangi Cece. Oh. Okay. And it's short for Falangi Cece. Cece. Gotcha. Yeah. Is that like so? Kiko is that also his? Yeah. Samoan Kiko. Name? Gotcha. I was I was stunned because you know, Kiko when he comes to the state, is he always go by Cisco. And then when I come over here, they call me Kiko. <laughs> kind of, you know, triggered me because I, I never used to them calling them Kiko. Oh, okay. that was only, so is he still you know, Cisco to you? Or is yeah, he Kiko? Yeah, Cisco He's to me. Cisco to you. Talk a little bit about the adjustment to college and how that's going for you and uh, how spring practice is coming along. I mean, adjusting to college is great. I mean, it's a fun process, getting a new, getting to really adjust to the level of competition, competing every day. I mean, just making new challenges that I didn't face before in high school. You know, uh, CC just was telling us that uh, you, know, you guys have gotten very close. So what's that relationship like with you guys? I mean, we're, we're like best friends in a sense. You know, best friends slash rivals. You know, we're competing against each other, working against each other. You know, just keep competing to get better. You know, we're not even. It's not a competition. It's like we're in a two-man race. You feel what I'm saying? You said you guys have been doing a bunch of work like outside of practice together. Like, what's some of that stuff that you guys? Do you have like a routine that you guys are? Oh uh, yeah, I mean together? yeah. So yeah, we just go. We, we come up with drills. We work on stuff we need to work on in practice. Some things we may maybe had a bad problem with. You know, go over stuff. Like, I mean, we come here on our off days, even on the days after practice, working on stuff. You know, just getting our our mind more inclined to like, the game speed. What do you think is the biggest thing you've maybe learned in terms of like? Technique, or any, is there anything like you kind of like really added, or coaches have really emphasized with you so far in the spring? I mean, and it's not really a technique. I say the, the speed of the game and the IQ. You know, just knowing things like you know when the like the safety's capped on top of the a corner. You know, just more IQ and more like certain type of language. That's really what I'm getting learning right now. It's things we didn't learn in high school, learning in college. You know, terminology and so forth. What's it like for you to you know, kind of come in and? 
very quickly in our first semester here have a chance to you know get quickly involved and have a chance to win a job on the, on the line? Uh, I mean, it's great, you know, just, I'm, just, I'm just trying to compete, working on my best, you know, trying to play to my best self, you know, every day just trying to challenge myself to get better, you know, when spring ball, I mean, when fall camp comes, you know, challenge myself over and over. I asked Francis the same question, um, just like, you guys have gotten grouped together, right, you were the two big offensive linemen in this class, what makes you guys different? Uh, what makes, I mean, what makes... I, I, what makes us different is say I just our flexibility and our speed and our athleticism. You know, for all that something we have, you know, just be able to move as quick as we can move. You know, how agile and flexible we are. I say, and also our our, our brain. <laughs> I say we, when it comes to thinking, we we think a little fast. What's it like being coached up by Mario Cristobal as a head coach? Um, it's great. You know, it's a certain amount of discipline, a certain amount of how you, you have to carry yourself on the field. In a certain way, just keep you your head on straight, you know. Though that keeping that self, this, you know, just keeping tight on the field, you know, never being loose. So what have you seen from uh, from Ruben and Jaden on the other side of the ball? Oh uh, yeah, they're dogs, you know. On the, I got I got to get some bunch of times, you know. They always put them, they always you can't miss a play on them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You always got you always got to be on your stuff and keep pushing. Who have been some of the uh, older linemen who have maybe helped you out the most? Uh I mean, I'm real connected with Rivers. You know, I mean, you know. Um, River, Javion, uh, Coop. That's what I really connect with. Have you pretty much just been playing tackle, or have you played anywhere else on the line? I've been mostly playing tackle. Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to the spring game? Oh, yeah, most definitely. It should be a great experience. Yeah. What, what do you think it will be like with fans and at another stadium? Uh, I mean, I think it would be great. You know, it's probably one of the probably biggest fans I've ever seen. <laughs> so, okay. I mean, it would be a great experience. I'm excited for it. What are the uh, best pancakes in Coral Gables? <laughs> best pancakes in Coral Gables? I mean, I'm actually coming out with something pretty soon. Oh, okay. You know, reviewing got pancakes. Got some NIL deals or something coming I got out. some cooking yeah, out, right. you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> pancake Honcho going to be eating some pancakes very soon. Anything else for Samson? Uh, just physically, have you, has your body changed at all? And now you obviously have an off season ahead of you. Just where do you kind of want to be by the fall, physically? Uh, physically, I mean, right now, I mean, I'm weighing about like 325. My body's pretty big, I'm strong, I'm flexible. You know, I'm kind of where I want to be at. You know, I maybe go a little bit down away, weight, maybe go like 320, 315. But right now, I think I'm pretty moving pretty well at 325, so I wouldn't really change nothing else. 366, how tall are you? Yeah, I'm 6'6". 6'6"? Six, six. Okay, wow.